Reading a book. What you doing? Reading a book. Mm-hmm. Mm, that sounds like fun. I got something better. What? Wanna go to the park? Sure. I'll meet you there in about an hour, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. I just wanted to show y'all these colossal sized blackberries before I stick my bananas in here. Look how huge these things are. I hope they sweet though. Um, that part will be here Monday. So he wants to replace it, drive it, and then see what happens. Um, it's just it's just really hard because it seems like your check engine light's coming on every couple hundred miles or something. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, actually, it wasn't even that. Because um, it, mm -mm. it was coming on like the, I think the second time that I had brought it in, that was just like a matter of a couple of days. And like I said, I work from home. Yeah. And, and it may not just be, you know, it may not just be exactly 100 miles or something. But, you know, uh, a lot of people are also uh, seeing it come on, you know, once every like week or once every two weeks or something like that. So. Mm -hmm. Um, but hopefully, hopefully this will take care of it. So let uh, uh, let us work on it. I'll get a hold of you either Monday or Tuesday, and we'll go from there. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Anytime, Shauna. Mm, bye bye. Bye. All righty. So it seems like uh, this is taking a little bit longer than I was hoping it was going to take. I did not plan to have this car for this long but I'm just hoping that they go ahead and get my car fixed and it's sad because I was trying to record this because a lot of times when they're talking to me I can't remember what they're saying so I can't go over it with cheek cheeks but what he initially said in the very beginning that this isn't a problem with my Bronco he said this has been a problem with a lot of the Broncos like all over the world so Basically, they've been having these issues to where the engine light has been coming on. And, and to be quite frank, nobody wants to drive a car with an engine light on, especially if you purchase a brand new car, regardless of the fact that whether it's something wrong with the car or not. You just don't want to drive the car when it has a check engine light on it, even if the car is driving OK. So it's something with the, the fuel line. And what they're going to do is replace whatever that was. He just said, see how I can't remember because I'm not into cars and I really honestly don't care. My, my thing is just fix the car and give it back to me. But I'm just hoping whatever this issue is that they think they're having, I hope they resolved it with previous Broncos that has gone in for the same thing and that way I won't have to take my car anymore so it's like if y'all talking to all of these people all around the world only thing I'm asking is just figure it out put y'all heads together and figure out what y'all did to resolve the issue so that way moving forward anybody else that has this problem they can get their car fixed within a matter of a day and just get their car back because this is going to be a week now that I'm going to have to have this car before I can actually give it back to them. That's just my big thing. I don't really care one way or the other. I just don't like the car that they have given me. I really don't. I don't have to get into the car until I go pick Yeye up from school and drop her off in the morning. Other than that, if I didn't have Yeye here, I wouldn't even be driving that car. I would have drove it home. And then I would have drove it back to them when I went to go pick up my car. Unless I had to go get some groceries or something like that. It wouldn't have got driven every single day.
that I do know because when I'm at home and Chi Cheeks is at work, I don't have nowhere to go. So I'm going to be at home for the most part. But anyhow, y'all, I sure wasn't planning on picking up this thing on camera this early in the day, but they called me and I actually took off half a day today because Mother's Day is Sunday and I have to work Sunday because we don't have any blockouts for Sunday for the next two months. So I have to work every Sunday unless I just want to call off and take a point in which I'm not going to do that. So I'm celebrating Mother's Day with my mom tomorrow and one of the things that she wanted for Mother's Day was a lemon pound cake. The only thing she wanted was a lemon pound cake but I ended up getting my mom a desk for her bedroom because this desk that she has y'all is just a raggedy hot mess but she don't care she gonna use that desk I guess until it hit the flow well it's gonna hit the flow because Saturday Cheeks Cheeks and I are going over there and he's gonna put it together for her and I'm just gonna celebrate Mother's Day with her that day and I'm gonna see if my cousin Charmel wants to take yay saturday evening so yay can spend mother's day with her i'm not for sure if she has to work or not if she doesn't then yay will be with me it's fine but it's mother's day i wanted to give her that opportunity to spend that time with her kids all of them including yay so i'm getting ready to fix myself something to eat real quick i'm probably gonna sit down for a little bit since i just got off work and then I'll go ahead and make my mom's lemon pound cake and get that done and then I'll frost it tomorrow morning or maybe later on tonight so yeah y'all that's pretty much it but I'll catch up with y'all in a minute fam all right you guys my mom's lemon pound cake is getting ready to go in the oven Alrighty, you guys I'm getting ready to plate the cake hopefully it comes out of the pan okay this is always like the trying time to see if I grease this pan and flour did right because if this cake come out with no imperfections I did a good job I'm actually kind of worried this time Ooh, I don't know Let's see. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, ma'am. My mama's cake came out perfect, y'all. Poise it. Poise it. I'm just going to cover this until the morning. And then I'll go ahead and... Ooh, that cake is heavy. I'll go ahead and um, make my lemon frosting, and then that's going to be it. I'm going to cut these lights out, y'all. I'm tired. And this is how I know that I need to either make a doctor's appointment, but I ordered myself some B12 today because the B12 that I had, I had gummies, and they got a little stale, hard, very hard. I threw them in the trash. So I ordered some more. They should be here tomorrow. So I'm going to take my B12 with my vitamin D3. I'm going to take it just for about a week. And if I don't feel any better, I'm carrying my behind to the doctor because I can't do this. I can't. I cannot do this at all. And this thing on cake pan is steaming already. I don't let this cake sit for two hours. And look at this, y'all. It done steamed up the cake plate already. Lord. But anyhow, I got a few dishes that I need to wash. I'm probably not going to do it until in the morning, which I'm giving myself another task to do tomorrow i'm so grateful that my cousin called me today and told me that she was gonna keep yay because she just one less person that i had to worry about as far as like fixing dinner and baths and just you know having to pay attention to a child i'm just glad that i got this free time that i can just do what i needed to do today sleep in tomorrow if that's what i need to do and I don't have to worry about yeah, yeah coming back until in the afternoon tomorrow. And then I'll just go and see my mom after she gets here. But y'all, I can't do this life. 
I can't. I'm so used to staying busy and moving around and just taking care of everything like an energizer bunny. I never get tired. Even if I do in those moments get tired, I know that if I just take one day to give myself a break, then I snap back and I'm good to go again. And I'm just not snapping back, y'all. And I'm worried, I'm worried, I'm worried because I'm just, I'm trying to sleep too much. At any given time, y'all, I can lay my behind down. I don't care what time it is. I can get a nap in. And literally on my off days, when I have to pick Yeye up from school and I feel drained and tired, like I just need to take a nap, I have to set my alarm clock because I know once I get in that bed and I take my clothes off, it's all over but the shouting so yeah enough of that because i don't talk y'all ear off enough about me and my tiredness but oops just put y'all in the dark with me i'm getting ready to go to bed i'm tired i get this mess in the morning when i get up i surely will i cut the hall light on though so i can quit putting y'all in the dark oh let me take my pillow and my blanket back to the bedroom with me because y'all I was I was laying down on the couch laying down on the couch watching TV where's my phone at okay I see it but yeah I'm gonna catch up with y'all tomorrow fam I got the most important part done and that was making that cake It's on. All right, fam. Good night. I will see y'all. What is up, you guys? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I am on my way down to the track. It is raining outside, but I'm bound to determine that. I'm going to see if this track is open and I can start going back down there and walking. And also, I'm determined to walk in this rain. Nothing's gonna stop me. It said that it wasn't supposed to start raining until 11 o'clock this morning, and it's like 9.45 and it's raining already. Hopefully on the other side it's not raining. I'm just gonna put my hood on, my headphones, and walk so off we go all right you guys so it is raining as y'all can hear and i get down here and they still have events going on so i'm not for sure how long these events are going to be going on down here at akron u today is saturday i don't know if they normally have things going on on sundays however i don't get off until 7 30 tomorrow but I can always come back up here tomorrow to see if if I can walk on this track. Anyhow, y'all, it's just been hit or miss me trying to get on this track, but it's okay. I was bound and determined today I was going to walk on this track regardless of the fact. I need to stay motivated right now. It's like I've been trying to eat a whole lot better, even though some some weekends I may have my days where I don't necessarily eat good, but I don't eat a lot which for me I've never been a dieter but I can cut my portions down to where I don't have to change what I eat because I don't really eat a lot of things anyways but it's just I'm trying not to be summer ready I'm just trying to feel better about myself because it's just like lately I haven't liked how I've been seeing myself on camera and that's one of the reasons why I really don't care to really upload videos that's another reason I got a lot going on but that is definitely one of the reasons whenever I'm editing I'm like yeah this ain't working for me so I'm just bound to determine at this point so while I'm determined to do this no matter what this weather look like I want to just at least try but it's okay I'm gonna come back tomorrow y'all and we're gonna see if I can get it in. Mm -hmm. Mommy's gonna eat that cake. It's a secret. Ooh. Tony, you want some cake? 
right now. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> Not hey, right now. You better come on now. No, I, I think I'm going to get to work. That cake look good. <laughs> you want some cake, I guess, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, see, she I love you so much. She ain't shy. I love you so much. I love you so Yeah, I know. She said, I make the best lemon cake. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. Nope. No. Mm -hmm. oh. you, 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 you super swag. I wouldn't care if I did get it from the dollar store. I go to the dollar store. I, I see the reason why I asked you because this place, oh, no, no, no. it looks like that. You got that from the dollar store? Uh huh. Okay. Love well, y'all. I'm here to spend a little bit of time with my mama. Uh, Tony's in there, get ready to put her gift together, and then we'll give her her Mother's Day gift. And then I gotta braid her up. Y'all here look like it's growing. I think it is. It is. Why you act like you mad about it? No, I mean I'm not mad about it. But I was like, when I took my hair out, I was like, I think my hair is growing. It is. That's a good thing. This piece and get Tony some cake too. He ain't gonna eat no cake mother until he get done eating. We all going to eat. I mean, not eating, no, getting done, okay. putting up your gift. You want a piece? Mom said um hi. Oh, tell her I said hi. You want a piece of cake now? What is that, Tony? Uh, a box right now. No, but I mean, what's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but what is it? It's a mirror. She said it's a mirror. Mm -hmm. No, it's a book. I mean, no. I don't know. It's a desk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Thank God for this. Because I'm telling you, my desk is so raggedy. Oh. That's what I said. Her desk is on its last leg. It is on, it's definitely on its last This is so, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Mother, take your card in the room. Come Oh, well, you know, I got to eat my cake. You know that he going to assassinate that cake. Yeah, but, uh, no, I'll cut him a piece, but, do you want cake, baby? Okay. Of course she wants some cake. Shana going to do that for you. <laughs> I'll cut you a piece of cake. I'm going to try it myself and make sure I did a good job. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Like a, a I'm telling you now. Yep. Okay. Well, y'all heard it from mother. The cake is good. Mm Almost done. Is he frustrated? No. It wasn't hard to put it together. It don't seem like it. Although he said that the instructions they weren't all that helpful, so he had to kind of figure it out by himself. He just putting the drawers on. It looks like we gonna need all that space. We might have to move the treadmill over just a little bit. That's a nice size pool. That's enough for you to do something. Yeah. Although I'm gonna have to get you some um some floaties because this three feet of water right here, you'll be done drowned. Three, four. Well, we'll really need that room though. But we don't really need that room though, mother, because we can change in your house. I just want to bring her, you know, so she can go swimming. Too close over there. 
because I ain't jumping in to get you. And then this is the workout. Oh, man, they got a gym. Oh, Lord, I don't need no gym membership. She got everything I need right here. warm it's a spa three feet spa oh yeah 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 we coming up here next week when? next week when is oh. okay here i come mother <laughs> all right you guys so we made it back home and now i'm in the kitchen cooking dinner and if i didn't tell y'all earlier today i am making hamburger subs with bacon i'm gonna have three different types of cheeses on here we got swiss provolone and american cheese because cheap cheese doesn't like pepper jack and i really kind of don't care for it either so this is what the the meat looks like and this was actually hamburger patties before i chopped it all up and then i threw some bacon in there and then we're gonna have homemade french fries so saturday is kind of like a I eat junky kind of day but like I said I don't eat a lot like instead of me having a full sandwich I'll just have half so me and Yay will have a half a sub and Cheek Cheeks will have a full sub to himself and then that'll be enough for me die quickly y'all like that other one did that one i do believe you put ice on that you don't put actual water on it so i'm gonna have to go find me some ice cubes in the deep freezer but yeah i will see y'all on another video real soon fam bye